there. Happy Friday, April 16th, 2021. Love it, love it with Jenna. I had something else all planned that I wanted to play, and my CD player, I think, has finally decided it doesn't want to work anymore. Let's see. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on. The volume still works. Come on. Ah, I, I was, it played the first two songs and then it stopped. It says no disc. So sad. I have this really cool CD. Let me see, is anybody here? Am I talking to myself? Maybe if I take it out and put it back in and take it out and put it back in, it might still work. But, oh, Patty, your cake, Patty cake looks so good. So anyway, I'm just seeing if I'm here. Am I here? Did I make it on the show tonight? What's up, everybody? That's me there. I have to go all the way. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Okay, there are eight. Of, whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, everybody? Whoa, Patty, Rob. Oh, Rob, Joanne, William, Carol, Bill. The regs, the fam is here. So I have this CD. I'm trying to play it. Give me one more. Because this is my this was going to be my display and share. And I love this song, but maybe I can find it online. But I wanted to play it. I bet it's online. I'm sure it's online. Because I love this one song. Oh, there. Okay, let's see. Because I've got the t-shirt on and I'm ready to go. Let's see. Anyway, if this works, this is my display and share for the night. And I'm wondering if any of you are coming on to display, but let's see. Hold the wire. Did you make it to the gig tonight? So much fun. Okay, this is what I was gonna play. Okay, no. You know Tony, Tony Frost, right? This is his band. Sarah. This is the t-shirt. Sarah. Sarah. Check them out. As the kids say now, wherever music is played for free, you can check it out. But I encourage you to check, to buy this CD. And um Super cool. But I have a t shirt. Sour Ops. My mom goes, What's your shirt say? Sour Oops. Sour Ops. So hopefully, so check it out. They have a video. If you Google, if you Google There She Goes by Sour Ops, S O U R O P S, you'll be able to check it out. And I think. Many of you would like, I think it would sound really cool on the Morocco family stereo system. There are 11 of you here right now. <sighs> how are you? I haven't lit, you know, remember how I used to light a candle all the time? Yes, Sour Ops. This one is Goji Turaco Orange. Sour Ops. So how's everybody doing? What's going on? What's up? I like them too. Yeah, Carl, I think totally. I would have liked, well, you know, when Tony was here, it was at the height of, of everything. So, but he'll be back. Tony, come back. Come back, Tony. Yeah, Sour Ops is the bomb shit. He sounds, he's got a Roy Orbison vibe, I think. But not like I want him to sound like somebody. You mentioned one of my favorite vocalists ever last night. Rosemary Butler. Girl. 
I'm telling you, when I met her, I was like, uh, 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 Will Kennedy. I was there with my friend John. This was in like 1990 at NAMM. I'm going to read that in a second because I want to soak it in. So we're at we're at NAM, and all of a sudden I see Rosemary. Rosemary Butler. Google Rosemary Butler. Rosemary Butler was in a band that it's that's a whole other story. But she sang backup for everybody back in the '60s and '70s, '80s, and like on Jackson Brown. Oh, won't you stay? Like she's the pretty voice. And when I saw her at NAMM, I was like, uh, uh, and Will Kennedy of the Yellow Jackets, the drummer from the Yellow Jackets is a friend of mine, was a friend of mine back then. And I just looked at John and I go, Rosemary Butler's here. And he goes, who? And I go, Rosemary Butler. She's, he goes, oh, you like her. She's a singer, right? And I'm like, she's right over there. And Will goes, Rosemary, yeah, she's my girl. You want to meet her? I'm like, you know her? Yeah, come on over. So I met her and I was like, hi hi and then now i'm like yo rosemary what's up girl yeah well not totally like that because it's more like this there's no this anymore there's your whole hand gets involved and it cramps up and you get a trigger finger and your wrist gets messed up hey joanne f henry last night when you said the song you're going to sing, I went, no, she's not going to sing that song, but she did. And you sing it better. Better. All right. Now I need to read what Bo said, or Bill. Bill Winokur says, Bo and I made it to the gig tonight and thought you and David were, oh, extraordinary. Your singing was your best ever. Really? And we have all of your CDs. Bravo. Oh, man, Bill. Thank you. I know that you called, but it was, my phone was in the other room and David and I were walking, you know, it's the last time I'm going to see them until they leave. So we were walking on the other side of the house talking about, you know, don't cry, Jenna. I love, 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 love singing with him. And he said some things to me tonight that If I never did another gig, I'd be fine. So thank you, Dave Lum. Thank you for watching the show and share it with your friends, you know, share and share alike, all this stuff. Anyway, it's Friday night. It's display and share. She's up there. There she is. Share. It's so funny. You know how when you're on, um, does anyone else voice text? You know how when you voice text and it corrects your words, like, you know, you say one word and, and they spell it differently and, you're, and then you have to go in and fix it. So when I say tonight is display and share, um, <laughs> it spells display and C-H-E-R. It doesn't spell S-H-A-R-E. I'm like, hey, hey, they know. Wonderful version last night, Joanne. Totally. It was beautiful. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, so I'm here. Hello, I did a display and share, Sour Ops. Oh, you love the red dress? It was so funny. I thought, what am I gonna wear tonight? I don't feel like it's kind of, it's kind of spring, but it's still cold. It's not like it is in Canada where it's 70 degrees. It's cold. But I didn't want to wear a big old, you know, my Carhartt vest and my grandfather's sweater to the gig. And I have all these gowns, but it's cold. But I remembered I have this red dress that I really like a lot. Thank you, Karen. Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love last night. Oh, my goodness. I forgot last night even happened last night. So cool. Last night was so cool. It's okay. It's all good. 
Yeah, Corona Roki. I mean, that's the thing, you know, all this epic stuff happens in like, and then I, I got to go on to the next epic thing. Like I got to perform with David Lom tonight. He was so, he was watching me. He's like, wow, you really kind of know what you're doing. I'm like, kind of, I know enough to get in trouble. Like I knew, to, I wanted it to be on Instagram also, but it kept shooting me to the reels and the reels are only 27 seconds or 28 seconds long or something like that. So I gave up and I thought, I'll just do it on Facebook and then William will post it up on YouTube. And can you, William, do you mind posting that show on YouTube? I think I'd like, I should put that on my regular Jenna Mamina page, but I forgot the password. And Rob, I got a compliment today from a friend. Let me see if I can look back in what they said. Done. Where is she? Speaking about promos, your 1111 Facebook promos are off the hook. Do you do them? And I went, <laughs> I'd like to say that I have some inspiration behind it, but it's Rob and Carol Morocco that do the promos. The promos, the, the, the um, collage ones, Dave Love, the funny, crazy ones, but the actual animation commercial. Ra Morocco. Carol, we have to come up with a song for you. I can't, Carol Morocco doesn't work, but Ra Morocco works. So that's that story. So thank you very much. And I have someone that we're designing my website and I need, I gotta get Johnny Border and I need new photos. Johnny Border, I need new photos. Johnny Border, stat, he'll be back next week. Hi all, who's here? Mom Grace Mamina. Mom Grace Mamina. Is this the Mamina residence? They used to call us. We had like 10 phones in our house. Oh, aren't those funny? Those harem pants with Lily and Pearl. <laughs> Her face. Um, they would call and they'd say, hello, I'd like to speak to, or, you know, when I got older, Gina Mamina. And I'm like, sorry, you have the wrong number. I know. But Carol, I have to, I know, I know we had this discussion before about songs with the name Carol in it. I know there's a movie that I love with Carol, the word Carol, with Kate Blanchett. Where might someone view these animated ads? On my page, I'll post it right now. Hold the wire. I can do this. I can do this. Anybody feel like jumping on and display and sharing? Anybody? Okay, I'm gonna post this, let's see. Um, oh no, I can't post that one. I can't do that one. Oh, where's the other one? That one's not ready yet. Rob. Help. Wait. Wait. Hey, Patty, do you feel like just sharing anything? <laughs> ah, cancel. I'm trying to find something. I'm trying to find how I can copy and paste okay wait one sec if i go way back go way back is that it nope that's not it yeah here it is okay whoa wait a second i'm gonna post this on my i'm gonna post this on my no i'm not because i can't get it to work oh okay here i go I'm going to post this on my page and then Joanne, you can check it out. It's such a cool tune. Tap and hold. Okay, this would be a, a commercial for, I'm even going to highlight here. You go. 
11 eleveners. There, it's right on my page. So you can check out. And the other ones will be out when they're out. And we'll just keep on rolling from there. But yeah. So it is Friday night, display and share. I guess I'm the only one sharing and I guess I should just, I don't know, what can I share next? My, um, my comb, I have this really cool comb. Did you work, did you put combs in your back pocket? You guys are killing me here. Nobody wants to display and share. Because if that's the case, I guess I'll just drink my little wine and then go watch more Lilyhammer. Thank you for sharing, Patty. Patty shares all the shows, and I encourage every single one of you to share the shows. Share the shows. Share the shows. Hi, you really moved us all. Yeah, it was really beautiful. Oh, hey, Melanie. Melanie Damore. Melanie Demore. Well, you have a you had a bruise from it. I think you should at least just come on and tell people what you were going to show us last week because now everybody. I mean, I want to see it at this point, but I understand. Picks in your hair. Well, Carl, some of us didn't have if i would have put a pick in my hair my the pick would have just fallen right out carl had hair like you know like this oh i had so much fun with david long tonight you guys i can't even i'm like carl saw me the other day after singing 40 songs so he was probably they were like are you okay like, i feel great what are you i'm like on fire like it's time to go clean the, the bathroom now or rearrange my closet or something but yep that's what happens all right patty <gasps> hi cherry destination gig cherry i want to sing i had i was booked with rolf to do a tour at the end of March last year into April, that was going to be a tour in France and Italy. And we were going to be performing in Venice, like four places in Venice and three places in France, and there was gonna be wine, blah, 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 blah. So that is definitely a destination gig. I love performing on Maui. I love, you know, at this point, Cherry, like I haven't tonight was a gig because and it was performing with a magnificent musician and we were there in a room with three other people two people and then a third came i don't know a destination destination hmm. yeah altered state of consciousness totally and singing really challenging music joanne it's like the music that david has turned me on to is like devastate like my brain sometimes i get out of there and i'm like whoa what just happened so yeah destination gig hmm i'd love to sing in brazil and i've done a lot of my destination gigs I would love to just keep on singing and and if it's in Iowa or Ireland or India or Istanbul, Istanbul, I'd love to do a gig in Istanbul because I'd like to go hang out there for a while. Oh, I don't I'm I'm like I'm in such a happy place right now. Uh oh. Wait, there are people in the waiting room. <gasps> Look who's in the waiting room. Ladies and gentlemen, we have people in the waiting room. Dos. Thank you, Cherry. I love that. Cherry. 
Sherry, come on the show so I can hear your voice. That was it. I was going to say that originally, Rob. It is. Before we go any further, it, I have always, I've, I've played in Vancouver and in Toronto, but I really want to go play in Edmonton because I really want to go see if that's where I want to move. Hello, Patty. Hello, William. How are you two? So it's true. Wow. Yeah, unmute. Song. <laughs> Hi, Patty. What an amazing song, Bill. No, we and I definitely need to, to, to chat. Yeah, Edmonton. And I was asked today, someone asked me, they said, so when are we all meeting in New York? How are you, Patty? How are you, Bill? I am fine. How are you? You get my tired, my tired self tonight. <laughs> okay. And Friday William, night. William, unmute thyself. He's trying. Yeah, I really want okay. to check out Edmonton. You okay. guys, that's, we've already discussed it. I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian. I know this. Hi there. Hi. How are you? You're in that pretty Good. blue room. I love that paint. Yeah. Beautiful. Good. What's going on, brother? Well, I have a display and chair. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. You Let's always see have the coolest display and chairs. Let's see if I can do it. This is uh, the young Indiana Jones. It's a three volume multi seat, multi uh, DVD set. And it's the best video, all around video for the family that I've ever seen in my life. Really? I've uh, been around since, uh, you know, like 20 years or so, 10 years, 15 years. But it's, uh, it's, it's in the old standard definition, four by three screen. But for kids, there's nothing like it. I mean, when I watch them, it's like I'm a kid again. Now, that's it's, not the right that that's, that's after Harrison Ford. That's a, like a younger version right. of Harrison Ford, correct? Uh, yes, yes, when he's a child. And each, each episode, his, he's with his parents. And they're going around the world. His father's going around the world giving lectures. And in the videos, he's always in an interesting part of history. In the first video, he's meeting Lawrence of Arabia. In the second, he's meeting Theodore Roosevelt on safari in Africa. And he's, he's interacting with them as if he was really there. And the series just goes on and on. And I've never seen anything like it. I mean... I would recommend it for the whole family. Like I say, I feel like I'm a kid again when I see him. How oh, fun. And when you say it's in the display, it's in the, is that DVD? These are DVDs, yes. The DVD sets, the three of them. This is volume Do one. Children remember what a DVD is? <laughs> you have to get them online. You have to get them online. But I highly recommend it. So that's my display and chair. Thank you. How are you, William? Good, I'm fine. Yeah? I'm and trying you... to get Benton Parker, uh, you know, to contact you. And he's trying, to, I guess you'll be trying to. And then once you get to talk to him, you can uh, decide how to, when to put him on or- He messaged me the other yeah. night at like 11.07 and I was, okay. you know, like, or no, I think it was after the show already started. Whatever it was, it was, it was kind of late to, to yeah. coordinate. So yeah. this Sunday night, I would love it. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. For good. Sure. I'll tell them. How's Kalamazoo Zoo Zoo? Great. Wonderful. I can't complain. <laughs> they're they're going to be doing the, um, the state theater is going to be doing that outdoor um, state on state or something. In uh -huh. May, but I'm going to be doing a gig in California, so I can't be there. Yeah. But, well, I can't wait until you're doing your uh, yard, your yard uh, uh, concerts in the summer. Yeah, we'll do something this summer for sure. Yeah, we'll I really there. enjoyed those. And then maybe Patty can make a road trip. Oh, yeah. Sure. 
Absolutely. Cool. Well, that's a cool display and share. Hang out with us because Patty's about to do a display and share, and I'm not quite sure. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to talk about the display and share. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Carl. Yeah, get it happening, man. Yeah, it just tickled. Um, yeah, it just tickled Jen and I when this happened, and it's just been an ongoing joke for about a week or two now. And it's like nobody was coming on and displaying and sharing a couple of weeks ago. And I said, "Was it last week already?" Well, Seems like forever. But then we did have to say here, we had Rob came on, but yeah, it was right. like, so I was saved, but I said, if nobody came on, I said, I had for the first time in my life, I said, I got a cortisone shot in my knee and I thought I was going to die. I said, I can display and share my cortisone shot where they injected me. It was horrible, horrible, oh, horrible. That hurts so bad. I never had one oh, and uh, my knee was like making these funny cracky noises after I helped my daughter move and I thought oh sure now I'm gonna have to have knee surgery or something but no it was it, it turned out to be really pretty good because they took x-rays of both my knees and they said you have absolutely no arthritis in your knees oh, and there's wow. That's amazing, amazing to me because arthritis like that runs in the family. And then they also said that um, I had no bone on bone. It just was, it, the way he explained it was your kneecap is like a smooth and I guess over the course of time, uh, what's that? Your kneecap, is like your kneecap right? is like a smooth road. And over the course of time, you end up with ruts and potholes and cracks. Well, I had a smooth road. <laughs> My knees are not smooth road at all. <laughs> so I know I said to him, I said, so now you're telling me I have potholes in my kneecaps, you know? Oh, and so marks and everything above. Yeah. yeah, well, he. I said to him, well, I have no pain. Nothing bothers me. I said, the only thing that bothers me is when I walk up stairs, I hear click, 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 click. And he says, okay, well, we'll give you a cortisone shot. I said, oh, okay. He says, about a week or two, it should subside some of that clicking sound for you. I went, oh, okay, fine. And the nurse came in and she said, oh, no. We, I said, oh, do I get some kind of shot or something numbing? Or they said, oh, no, we just put a spray on there. I said, oh, okay, fine. And a numb it, right? Numb right. it, my eye. The guy comes after me with this big old needle and he puts, he first he makes a, a circle around my kneecap, like where he's going to shoot this needle in. And then before he starts going towards my knee, I yell at him, wait, where's the spray? Where's, <laughs> the, the, family family comes, family. <laughs> where's the spray? And the girl just comes and goes, this little, barely anything on my knee. And he puts this needle in and I felt like somebody put a hot spike through my knee. It was so, it was horrible. I said to him, I'll never get another one of those again. My knee can just click away all at once. Like, oh, I'm, never, I'm never getting another shot like that. It's horrible. I feel sorry for anybody that he has to get rid of you know, repeated shots like that. That, that was terrible. So I was going to stick my knee up and show you where I had my cortisone shot with the dot on it. So I could see Bob, um, Rob Morocco was all of a sudden, we want to know, like, where is this bruise, you know? <laughs> my mom has had her knees, she's had three knee replacements. Oh. That didn't go well, and so she had to have a replace, a re re replacement. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. yeah. Well, my friend Melinda had one, and she said it went so well that she said, "I can't believe I didn't do it years sooner," because she suffered terribly with her knee. So I think she, I think she was supposed to get the second one done, or she got it done. I don't remember now. She'll kill me if I don't remember. But anyway. Um, that was my display and share. It was just I like a vacuum back there. What kind of vacuum is that? 
Is that a shark? I, no, it's um, it's actually um, I like the Hoover wind tunnels, like, and it's got the removable cup, so you get rid of all the dirt. You know, is that my display and share? I oh, could go get it. I love vacuums. <laughs> I have a shark. I love my. I had a Dyson for years, and I love my shark. Well, my daughter he has a Kirby, and that thing is so D A M N heavy. Oh, they're so heavy. You, I yeah. can't. It's like, what? Yeah, what is the yeah. point of this vehicle? Yeah, it might last for eighty years, but you don't want to have it for eighty years because it's too damn heavy to use. No, I could throw my shoulder out trying to vacuum, so I said, <laughs> and and I wouldn't want a cortisone shot. So I said to her, it was broken. She wanted it fixed. I said, okay, I'll go find the guy to fix the Kirby. So I did. And then um, in the meantime, I said, well, I'll buy a wind tunnel because then when you're done using it, I want to, I want it back. So how do I get it back? I get it back. Well, it's not working anymore. I went, what? It was a brand new wind tunnel. Why isn't it working? So I took it to my vacuum cleaner guy in Crystal Lake. And um, I said, well, I tell me what it is. If it's too much, I won't. I'll just go get another new one. And the guy goes in the back and he comes right back out and he says, it's fine. I go, what do you mean it's fine? And he shows me there was a sock in the hose. <laughs> Somebody vacuumed up a sock. Oh, God. oh, rainbow. That's a nice vacuum. My Dyson was, it was, I moved to Mexico and then the Dyson went like somewhere. You know, I should double check exactly. Hold on a minute. What, what the kind heck of is... vacuum do you have, William? Since we're talking vacuum. Uh, I have a, a canister, you know, a, a, oh, a wet, wet vacuum, a canister. It's very good. Yeah, I love my, my, but the one that I have is cordless. So you charge yeah. it up and then you zip okay. around the house with it. I guess I moved up in the world. It's a shark. <laughs> yeah. I never thought it was a shark. It looks a little shark like. Yeah, it's a shark. It's really a nice one. And uh, oh, you got me here. There we go. There's my shark, guys. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hey, we have another display and share. Hold the wire, kids. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? I am. How you doing, Bill? Good. <laughs> Melanie Demore. Hey, sister girl. Hey, Melanie. What up? Hello, hello, hello. Unmute. 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 Hello there. What up? What up? What up? What kind of vacuum do you have? You need to unmute thyself. Oh, yeah. vacuum. Yeah. Do you have? Do you own a vacuum? I do. I do not. I, my house is small. I have a little hand thing that I that I do. I did two for years, and then I. I my house is you know it's this, but I got this little shark, this little cordless shark. Uh, yep. Girl, it's the shit. It is the shit you can, you know, you can suck up some shit with that too. It's amazing. Well, apparently you can suck up a sock. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, and, I see. I, I came Rob, in on this. Rob Morocco said he went for an industrial built one that he has to be careful not to suck up Zoe, his dog. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. I'm looking forward to you being here. I know. I when know. when are you when are you getting here? I we land on the thirtieth. Excellent. Yeah. So we must go down to Jack London Square and maybe do something from there in that area. I'm just saying. And eleven eleven <laughs> down at Jack London. Come on. Well, maybe if see if I used to perform at um Lungamare on Friday oh night, but um. Oh. Uh, but that's not happening. They sold. My friend sold, but they uh, have this. But I love the market, the Sunday market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we got we got we got things to do. Or also, yeah. we can also maybe do it if you're around. You know, the Lakeshore Farmers Market is the great one I by the, by Grand Lake Theater. That's my we favorite. That. We have to do that. Yeah, 
That's I need, really good one. I need to get a salmon crepe from that crepe guy. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just saying, I mean, we've got this already happening. I'm very excited. I'm so <laughs> excited too. Yeah. Are you so you're in town? You'll be there. Everything's cool. We're like yeah, April 30th, right? Well, Where's April the... 30th, we land. Yeah. And then um we'll be in the city at my I call her my other mama's house, mm -hmm. Trero Hill until the fourth. Mm -hmm. And then I'm back at my house on in in Rockridge on the fourth. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm 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 here. In, you know, I've got I got a I got a big performance I'm getting ready for up uh, with Sky Watchers, but that's that's happening uh in the city, like around the 14th and the 15th around there. So I may be running in and out of rehearsals, but that's really? cool. Yeah. Well, if I don't go up to Seattle on the 11th, which I I'll know on Monday if I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Naomi's daughter is in a gymnastics competition this week. Oh yeah. yeah. Places. Then she goes to Florida that weekend. If she doesn't, yeah. please, then I go up to Seattle. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll we'll make it work out one way or another. You know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm so yeah, I, have, I have to tell you that the, I I saw something the other day that I, I'll I'll have to send you a link. But the Cultural Heritage Choir performing with Wilson Pickett. Oh. Wilson Baby. Pickett. Oh really? my God. Yeah, where, at, the when was this? Folk, uh, at the Edmonton Folk Music Festival, the year we did our album, Say Your Business, we recorded with, with people, we asked people and they said, well, we have to hear you. And, and Wilson was like, I I'll sing anything with you, anything. Yeah. And so he called us up on stage and we did Mustang Sally with him. Oh, and how fun. I've never seen the, the video and, and the Edmonton Folk Music Festival released it. So we saw it the other day. We all look like we're 12, Jenna. Oh, I bet. I mean, I bet. <laughs> it's like 2000 or something. We look like we're 12. And and Linda is just just firing Killing all it. pistons. Killing it. Yeah. I mean, we we killed it with them. And so it was funny to see that because I've never seen it. So uh, yeah, it was really I, pretty um, wild. Did you see that photo I posted a couple of weeks ago at the Michigan Women's Music Festival with June and Jean and yeah, I mean, puppies, pups. About 12. Yeah, pups. Like, I mean, you know. June was maybe, I sang with June at her 40th birthday at Ashkenaz. Yeah. And it was within the next couple of years after that. The it, uh, Washington, Washington sisters and I performed with her at her 40th yeah. birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I, I was just on a on a on a uh, a Zoom fundraiser for Sandra Washington, who's running for office in her in her town in where's she Nebraska or something? Yeah. You know, so they had me sing on that. They're really twin cool. sisters. We're talking about the Washington sisters, and they're beautiful mm -hmm. vocalists, and you can't tell them apart at that time, yeah. thirty years ago, and they would wear different earrings. Like one would wear disc earrings, and one yeah. would. Or dangly ones, yeah. When you're talking to, you yeah. know, I sang for her mom on, on on for their mom on her birthday, and she turned ninety. Wow. Ninety eight or something, ninety seven. Just just firing on all pistons, and when uh, she came to Michigan one year, and uh, I was directing the gospel choir, and I gave her a solo. So that's how Mildred and I met. So she said, <laughs> "Yes." Well, so you know, we'll be having Grace's birthday party in California. Oh, I love that. Because she will be 90. I know, I love that. 27. That's incredible. And we ate the last of the lemon cakes tonight. I made, you know, I made a cake, right, Patty? And <laughs> yes. A and a little bites. Yeah, you had the loaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so good because I made that other frosting and we just finished that off tonight. I know the last piece of my cake went tonight too. Mm -hmm. I didn't it's your bacon it. fools. Your bacon oh, fools, so the two. I don't know about bacon fools. I just know yeah. we're darn fools. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to um, do this Wednesday yet. Do you guys have any ideas what you'd like to see? We were thinking savory, perhaps. But, oh. but you know, because I'm so used to doing my blender stuff and my raw stuff, and now I'm baking. With well, 
I had an idea today after I was listening to you and everything, and I'm thinking as I'm driving. Can I stop you for one second? Patty yep. and Melanie, have you guys ever met in person before? Like in Ooh. the show, Patty and Melanie? Never. No. Well, Hi, Patty. I've been, I've been watching, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Well, I've been watching you too. Yeah. yeah. And I love, yeah. I love well, your well. disappearing background. I know. You <laughs> oh yeah. We love that. We love that. And Patty, I saw Tim today, by the way, he come, he rolled by and we hung out for a minute. Good, good, good. I'm glad no, I haven't I seen him, but I did. So you were thinking it's okay. you were driving. It's your show. <laughs> I'll just keep interrupting that. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, hey, and by the way, I'm hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking, I don't know if I forgot it. No, no I'm kidding. Um, I did. I was thinking if I could find my sister-in-law always made the, I know you're, you're vegan, but uh, it was. I'm not vegan. I eat cheese and I. I oh, eat okay. Okay. Well, it's the Italian um, uh, sausage pepper potato that big casserole that you make with the sausage and peppers and everything italian sausage and casserole no it's it she makes it bakes it in this huge pan oh, but it's right. the but it's sausage right. and peppers and then but she added potatoes and it is i mean to die for if you really like that italian, okay. if you really like italian food you know and uh, I was thinking of that today, but um, that's more than savory. <laughs> you could do that. You, could you should make empanadas. We could do empanadas. That would be fun. What's we an empanada? Go ahead, Melanie. Well, an empanada, it's every, every culture seems to have, it's like a hand pie. And so, you know, you can put, and you can put meats or you can put, uh, vegetables in it or you can put anything in it but it's it's like a hand it's just a, a hand pie really. like a manicotti like a little you know little pinched around you know like a little half moon type thing a pastry kind of thing yeah like you know and then you can put, you can put scones oh yeah, yeah i love savory, like a cheese scone <gasps> yeah, like that. yeah how about that uh-oh did she freeze or is she shocked <laughs> where did you need to go patty Daddy, come back. <laughs> Daddy, it's not that bad, girl. We can do whatever you want. <laughs> She's gone now. Pizza. Oh. I don't know. They savory. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it was good to have a gig tonight. Mm -hmm. have How did it go? It oh, was incident incidentally, uh Wait. Melanie, I've never yes. met you formally, so I Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bill. I, I wanted to say I noticed you. that you've been involved with 1111 since show one. You, I Pretty think much. you're the longest single, you know, member. Yeah. And I and I just wanted to say I'm in awe of your performing ability. Oh uh, well, thank you. And I have watched you make beautiful salads. <laughs> but thank you, Bill. You see Melanie a lot because you've been when you yes. upload shows. And yes, yeah, and I noticed she's like, been she's been through the entire the entire run of. She was when we were like this. Beginning. Oh, so, Melanie, what do you <laughs> say? Oh, so, yep. so, Melanie. Right, yeah. right. When my hand would be like numb. <laughs> yeah. Got, I need cortisone shots in my wrist now from eleven eleven. Yeah. Hold on. She's back better than ever. Oh, great! It's so nice to see you, Bill. Thank you. Yeah, I thought you two had actually conversed before so no 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 only, we haven't yeah only like yeah. in the chats but not Daddy, but we got not worried about you huh Every, froze everybody me. froze my phone froze everything froze why were you watching me make foolish my foolish no you just looked really sad and shocked <laughs> i was like what the heck were you all of you are like this and i'm like what's going on here <laughs> that's what we were doing too so we are so bizarre. Nah, ghost in the machine, Patty. I'm so bizarre. I'm so technically challenged. I can't tell you, you know. Anyway, what was an empanada? Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's like a little, it's like a little hand pop. You know, they, they, they 
a lot of people, a lot of different cultures make that. It's like you, like you put anything in. Like a bigger ravioli. Except it's made oh. from pastry. Except it's, it's made from pastry. pastry. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Something like that would be okay. And then we... I'd, I'd make a gluten-free empanada. Yeah. Oh, I, I would eat that. You know, because I'm paleo. I would love that would be great. Oh, I, I, could do, I, well, I, could, to... I could do one with almond and coconut flour. Yes, you could. And then I could eat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would eat that. Maybe well, you could mail it to me or something. Well, no. Wait, so check it out, Melanie. So here's the deal, though. Okay. When 11 11 is happening in California, mm -hmm. it's at 8 11 a.m. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. So we could actually, oh, there goes Patty again. <laughs> Patty! Come back. Come back. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Um, so the week of this, this I'll tell you the date. Okay, good, because I'll put it, I have to put it in my calendar. I mean, we could okay. definitely do walk ones, but Wednesday, the, that's gonna be tough. If I don't leave town on the 11th, then we could do it then. Okay. But on the yeah. 4th, I'm still going to be in the city. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so oh, no, 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 no. I no. take it back, girlfriend. I take it back. Wednesday the fifth. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I have I have my rehearsals with Skywatchers before we're getting ready to be a big show. But if it's early in the morning, so it's eight in the morning. Eight eleven on the fifth. I can do that. And I can give you the address, and we can we'll bake with Patty. Okay, and so uh, where is this in the city? Where is it? Then in, in no, the, at your house. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Patty's I'm, back. Here she's coming. Here you come again. Yeah. So okay. I have it. I have it on the calendar. But then, and then some other time we can go walk, like the mm -hmm. sixth, seventh. The seventh, I have a gig. Okay. And then another time. We can Patty, go you're walk. back. I'm telling you, if it happens again, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so, Melanie, you'll be in rehearsals that hold that deep in rehearsal at that time. So we um, cannot. On, on, no, no, but um, the show, I'll probably have a couple of rehearsals, probably uh, Friday the 9th. But I'm, I'm open on the on the uh, on the other days. So right now. All right. Fixed. But I got the fifth in the morning. It's great. I don't have I don't have anything happening until ten thirty or something. Okay. But I can. That's the one thing I can change. But um, I got it. Hang out with Mama Grace and I. Yeah, at I've been vaccinated. I can just hug the stuffing out of you. I know. I <laughs> I, hugged, I hugged David tonight, and it was really fun. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. It really is. You just go. Oh yeah, I remember that. Right. I feel like a human being. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to you being here and everything. And I, I wanted to pop on and uh, didn't let you know that. Where's Thanks. Cher? <laughs> I, coming. I, I, I... <laughs> that is <laughs> Melanie, do you, do you know anyone that knows Cher? I do not. I do not. I mean, I know other people who know other people, but I don't know. June and Jean did it, they played with Cher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yes. love it. Well, they were the first time. June's like, oh, I played with Cher. I'm like, oh. on the very opening night of the Sonny and Cher show, they were on the very first one. Sure. Fanny was on the very first showing yep. of Sonny and Cher. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. They were they were the they were the guest band that day. Wow. That's yeah. going back a ways. Melanie Yay. and I both performed with these the, the women of that group. They're sisters, yeah. Jean and Jean Millington. Yeah. I'm gonna That's have wonderful. To, I gotta do a road trip up to Davis while I'm there. You know, um, yeah, so you can go and see uh go and see Jean. Yeah. 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 yeah so uh yeah, I mean, you know, those were the days, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we all had them. We had our yep. days. I'm still having mine, and that's just it. I mean, you know, it's crazy. I can yeah. all the different stuff. I'm so I glad you're, like you're gigging again. I'm so well, glad you're gigging. That, I mean, the gig with, he's moving in two days to Florida. Oh. 
he'll be back and the piano was sold so it's really an end of an era i first performed with him the day after my brother died i had booked a gig wow. and i had a gig the day my brother died that i that my family just said you know what nino's who taught you how to sing you go sing you and do it yeah it. and then the next day i just woke up and went i can't do this gig but it's with david Lom, and i you know i've been wanting to do it and so um that's where i mean nine almost 10 years ago that i performed with him and today was it all the furniture is gone in the house everything was wow. empty, yeah. empty, yeah. empty and the piano yeah. was still there and they kept the piano there so that we could do the gig tonight well wow. it was a great hour it was it was absolutely a fantastic hour i couldn't have i couldn't have enjoyed it more it was wonderful Thank you. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get to see it, but is, is it? Uh, it's it's there. recorded. Oh, great, great. I yeah. want to check. I'm going to post it tonight as part one of tonight's show. Uh, oh, you know what? You you yeah. a badass member, Jimmy Bill. He, he <laughs> is. He really is. Really. He's he's serializing you now. See, part one, yeah, part right. two. You know what I learned right. also, right. William? What what needs to happen? Someone told me today. They said you need to categorize your your 11 11s and i went what and they go yeah like the baking ones and the cat mm -hmm. and the corona roki and the something i'm like do you know that there's like eight six million, million? <laughs> and, they, and they get mixed up sometimes you got so why different don't, why don't you find someone to categorize william do you like to bake carol would like to know and so do i no no i'm not in the cooking he uh, makes the smoothies are as far as i can go i just like uh, <sighs> Oh, well, it's the basic raw foods. Well, I was raw for so long when I when this when my kitchen was created, I told my dad, I, just, I don't even need an oven, a stove, and he's like, yes, you do. I go, I don't eat, I don't cook food. Oh my god, yeah, I don't cook anything. I mean, I I like to make it for other people, but in this situation, but I have a cute little stove right there. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you don't like to bake, but you like to make smoothies and you make beautiful salads. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I wanted to ask you before I forget, did you want Benton on your show this coming Sunday or the week after? Sure. This Sunday is perfect. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Yeah. And and any other musician that wants to come on, did you check out Corona Rook? You guys were there last night. I know Melanie, my mom goes, Melanie was there and I said she was. And yeah. then I, I go back. Did you pop on for a minute, Melanie? A minute. Yeah. I popped yeah. on for a minute. Yeah. And then I got a call, so I had to go. But I did. I was there for a minute, and I think that yeah, Ruth was talking. Oh. And then somebody yeah. called him. Ruth and was talking about her, her car got nailed with um, he, he hail. Yes, that's what she was talking about. Totaled. Wow. And then I got interrupted, so I didn't find out what happened. But her car got totaled. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you should see the car. It's crazy. But she's like, oh, my throat hurts. It's not very good. And then she went on to sing. And I'm like, I think it's the best I'd ever heard her. You know, Ruth is an amazing singer. Even with all the stuff that she says, it's going, she's an amazing singer. Yeah. She's yeah. an extraordinary voice. Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And power. Yeah. So much yeah. power. And so much passion in her voice, too. And just really, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I, I mean, you know. She's, she's, she's amazing. Yeah. She's amazing. She's amazing. And Delilah and, was on, of course. Uh, oh, I, I saw Delilah, you know, I and always. she sang in French. Yeah. You know what? Let's just, you know, that, that Delilah, come on. That's that one. She's amazing. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. She gets better every time. She gets yeah. better all the time. Yeah. She's really yeah she nice. was very good last night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was very good. And who else was on? Oh, Joanne F. Henry. Oh, nice. And she was like crazy beautiful. And Darnell. Alex, oh, Darnell. And he sang Lift Every Voice. Yeah. Oh, great. And my friend Jay mm -hmm. in um, Central California played piano. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. really I think I heard Jay play. I did hear Jay play. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A young woman from Concord, yeah. named Joanne. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Beautiful, and she sang a, a a Kings of Leon song that 
I, I know the song well because I used to see them perform quite a bit. And I said, mm -hmm. now I understand what they were singing because mm -hmm. I can't understand what they're singing, but, <laughs> but it's yes. a great song. It's a great song. And um, what Colorado is known for hail damage to cars, wiped out inventory at some dealerships. Right. I remember that story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole dealership was wiped out from the golf, yeah. golf ball size hail. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if if Carol or if, if Ruth would have been walking outside, that's when, not a good thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. terrible. I mean, they've had a lot. Their weather, this Austin's weather, no, no good. So I do have a display and share that I'm just going to open. I just remembered that I picked it up before I came upstairs and I looked over because I was so excited about Tony's CD. One more time, <laughs> new CD. It's out. Nice. Check but I got a box in the mail. And since you're all here, let's open it together. Rah, Morocco. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> okay. I know what it is. And it's, it's, it's really well. Jenna, it's a card. Lovely. What's I lovely? hope you enjoy the amazing chocolate. I love you, Armando. Oh. Armando Ortega. Armando Ortega. Yeah, he's been MIA. <laughs> bon chocolat. Ooh. Yeah. Wrapped in a ribbon, you know, that's like some real chocolate right there. No kidding. <laughs> like, really beautiful. Like, I could. Bon chocolat. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh. Wow. Whoa. I mean, it's wrapped like. Paper is really nice too. Oh my goodness! Look at these things. They'll send me to the moon. <laughs> well, let's oh, see. You're not. You're not going to get any sleep tonight. <laughs> well, let us see there. Look at these chocolates. Look oh, at. Oh yeah, those chocolates. are so wow. Oh. Here, if That's if you guys don't say a word for one second, and I talk, and then they can see the chocolates. So la 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 la. Look at the chocolates. It's still not work. Oh, there. La 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 la. No, it's there. Yeah, there are the chocolates. Look at those chocolates. And then there's more. There is more. But wait, there's more. Wait, there's the purple. Oh my goodness, you guys have never seen so many chocolate things. What are these? More chocolates. Bone chocolate peanut butter cups. <laughs> More ribbon. Okay. Uh, Martha lost his mind. I huh? just lost his mind. <laughs> there he is in the sugar coma somewhere. Just I, <laughs> I know. Look at these. Wow. And then oh, oh okay. wait, there's more. I'm, I'm glad this is only I'm glad this is just the, you know, a filler. The ice <laughs> thing. Because I thought, no, please, no more chocolate. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just terrible. You just had to have to, like, deal with it. That's Oh, really, my God. That's a good haul there. That's Bone a really good chocolate, haul. artisan chocolate truffles. Those are beautiful looking chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Amazing. Oh, my God. I might have to take a bite of one. I think you might have to. I mean, you know, you might as well. I'll save these. Mm -hmm. But do not hurt, don't hurt Armando's feelings without at least trying one. I think he's working because I tried to message him earlier. Okay, another a beautiful satin. Yeah, because I have to watch it. We, at least one Lily Hammer tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and that's, that's a, it's a noisy tree as well. Oh, yeah. If Lillian were up here, he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is like, Forget about it. <laughs> oh my God. You're putting me in a sugar, sugar high just looking at it. <laughs> oh my, oh, that is good. <laughs> Back in the box. <laughs> is it tasty? <laughs> Really beautiful. <laughs> that is not a Reese's peanut butter cup. No, no, that's that's the real deal, baby. That's you know, absolutely. That's the, 
That's some highfalutin chocolate up in there. Fancy, fancy chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate's your favorite. Karen, well, come on. I've got six of well, I have five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> you can have she can have half. You can have five of them. Because I've got <laughs> Wow, is that good? But but I think what I could do is I could put oh. these back in with their little and I could I could bring them with them on our trip. Then you know then you can just enjoy them. Mm -hmm. And then when all the guests come over, no, you know, Melanie, you're the only person that's coming over. <laughs> I'd be glad to come on over there. Well, I'll, 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 let, I'll let you know where and when and yeah, Melanie disappeared through the Zoom curtain. Did you go through the Zoom curtain? Did we miss it? Did I miss nope, it? Nope, she no, didn't no, do I'm, it. I'm, I'm actually on a different. I'm on a different thing. But I don't know if we will do it on this. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, it just thrills you. I, I it's, you know what? It's the little things like that. It's so great. It doesn't yeah. take much. It's so it's, great. It's so great. Yeah, because you're on a different, you have a different background, right? Yeah, yeah. It just tickles you. I love that. I, I think just, it's great. Well, someone asked me the other day if this was if this was a screen or a you know a yeah yeah a virtual uh, background. I'm like no, this but is no, that's the real deal. It's really all my stuff. It's all back there. <laughs> uh, I was thinking the other day when you were in the living room, you know, when you had like in, in uh, with the wood back to uh -huh. I don't know. yeah. Well, that seemed that was a long time ago. Ah, amazing. I was thinking how we used to, we used to do you know, when you were on Facebook and then, you know, I could join you on Facebook and we'd have our little faces next to each other. And that was an innovation. That we was an innovation. Huh? We could still do that. Yeah. When we go like this, wait, those were some good times. Yeah. Wait, Except I'm on zoom now, bud. So. Well, so am I. But yeah, if you were to do, you mean if you called up the, uh, what do you call it, messenger? Yeah, but it's I have it all. I'm on, I'm on my iPad. That's where I am now, which is but where. This is else. how the show used to be. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's it. Melanie, Melanie, Rob, Rob says it's a big thrill for him when you do this. This is how the show used to be, like this. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Melanie, hello. Yeah. And then Corona Roki was forget about it crazy. Yeah, it really was. You and didn't see you know, it like in my house. I had an amp up here and a microphone for, and I would hold the microphone like this so somebody could hear yeah. it. Oh my but that, and then we, then we went through the whole thing with get you know the trying out the sixteen different dongles and the five thousand different microphones and can you hear this one and all that stuff. We all went through that together. That's I have wonderful. all these dongles over here. I don't know what to do with them now. Because all you need well, you know, they're now they're souvenirs. I mean, you know, people could <laughs> <laughs> eleven eleven with Jenna souvenirs. I have earrings. I'm going to start auctioning them off. Yeah, eleven well, eleven you know, with Jenna earrings. I know people are going to, you know, once uh, we're able to be back out in the world, people are going to want to. What we we have these rare things here. They're, yeah. they're yep. going to be that they're going to be worth so yes, much. Yes, probably yes. seven or eight dollars at least. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is I mean, this is this is like early, early stuff. This is the kind of thing oh that, they, that they auction off, you know, 25 years from now. And, and now in our next lot, one of the original Corona Roki. Oh, my God, I can't face believe mask. that. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hand lettered. Skills. Hand lettered by Dave Lowe. Hand lettered, yeah. right. And, really? And, and really. And my favorite part is says new, never worn previously. <laughs> That's what I really because <laughs> I still have mine in the in the original packaging, you know, and when things are in, in the original packaging, they're, they're worth whole lot more. Like, <laughs> That's like Cher. You wanted to know Cher. She's she's yeah. over the package. She's never been she's never been out of the package. That's so cool. That is so cool. Absolutely. She she, she's beautiful. Yes, all of my all of my action figures are in their original yeah. package. She Look looks at her wonderful. Earrings. Her earrings move. I know, that's just ridiculous. 
I mean, that's just ridiculous. If you believe in the Yeah, I knew you were going there. <laughs> You know what I you know what I miss uh, Jenna from from the early days of 1111 is when you would play some of uh some of your records. I love that. Yeah. I loved yeah. hearing this. I loved hearing that. I loved that part when you would start off and we would hear you know you'd talk about the different musicians and we could hear all your tunes. I love that part. All right. I love <laughs> that. another there's another part of the show that's been with you from the beginning and is tonight is the Frida Pillow. It's always been there. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Frida Kahlo has always been in the house. It's been lovely. Yep. Well, when I used to, st I used to do the show from over there. Right, and and it was on that side. And yep. I sat on the ground. Yeah. And and then I'd wonder why my back really hurts all oh, day. Why is my back hurt? Well, because you're doing this like little army people. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really. And then I'd be sitting there like this and on the ground and coughing and over and over. Yeah. But <laughs> but then my CD player broke and that's why I don't do the music. But I do have a new record coming out in June or July, I think. It's called mm -hmm. Mutineer and it's with Matt Rawlings. Nice. And so I'll do some okay, I'll I'll play some stuff from there. That would that would be really nice. I, yeah. I really enjoyed that. Really? And it was a way yeah, for I thought that was a little like Dinner, oh, I loved it. No, because what it is is record. Okay. No, but I but the music is beautiful and right. and it's all stuff that people love. And I mean, yeah. you know, so that's I like having that. I like that part. I look forward to that. And it turned me on to stuff that I hadn't heard of yours, which I really like. I'm just saying, Jenna. Yeah, no, you're right. You're absolutely correct because mm -hmm. uh, you know, if she didn't play, I mean it was Jenna show and if she didn't play her music i mean i wanted to hear her sing more and stuff so mm -hmm. like tonight was a real treat for me because i've never seen her perform live mm -hmm. so that was just wonderful and i can't wait till i can see her perform live you know mm -hmm. but see that just you know that hearing your songs is just a great thing and there's and plus you know, such great musicians and really good arrangements. So I'm mm -hmm. just saying, Jenna, I I could take a little bit more of that myself. I'm just saying. I agree. I agree. Julie Lewis agrees with you too, and she still has. Yep. She ordered a mask. Yeah, she I, ordered. <laughs> I think you can still get one, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've had mine now for a long, long time. It's, and it's, yeah. Well, it's been over a year, and next, not this. Saturday, but next Saturday will be an anniversary for. I mean, you and I now we've had our anniversary, Melanie. It's been over yep. a year. Yep. Yep. It's crazy. Well, and then we had all those months just trying to get Lisa on, and finally. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be doing months. shows from Lisa's, like, like, like outside her bedroom. I'm like, Lisa, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I have to go feed the horses. Well, we'll go with you. Come on up, Melanie. Yeah. So when is that? When are you going to be up there with, with Lisa? Taking Mama Grace up there? Definitely for, her for Grace's birthday. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. my plan is to go to Seattle on the 11th. Mm -hmm. But if I don't go to Seattle, then I'll probably stay in the Bay Area for a little while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then go up. And then I have gigs on the... The, the Tallman Hotel, everyone who's around here, if you guys, the weekend of the 5th and 6th of June, I'll be performing at the Tallman Hotel. And that was one place that I thought it would be a fun reunion for us to have. Well, Tallman, where, where is that? In Lake, Upper Lake, California, in Lake ah. California. I don't know if I can get up there, but you will see. On your way to Mendocino and then you turn right instead of mm -hmm. left. Ah, excellent. It's east. It's a yep. beautiful, beautiful hotel. Mm -hmm. And I have a breakfast and a dinner gig there. Oh, nice. It's like, yeah, we're starting to do things uh, in the world again. Do you I, have I, any gigs coming up? Anything uh, out in the world? You're doing that one. Tell us about the one in. in I, work with, I work with a group called Sky Watchers in the Tenderloin in San Francisco. And we do. So I'm the mus I've been the musical director for Sky Watchers for about 10 years. Oh. And we are an artist uh, activist group. So 
all the people that we work with are all folks who live in the Tenderloin, wow. folks that were unhoused or living in the SROs down there. So all the all the, the stories and the music is all from their life and they're in it. And so I'm doing a, a, a big stick pounding thing with them. So we've been outside in Bodecker Park on wooden platforms. Everybody's got their own wooden platforms so we can stay socially distanced. And it's really been very intense. I've been taking them through some really deep stuff. So we have a, an outdoor performance. And sometimes when I'm with Sky Watchers, when in the before times, I would lead a procession through the tenderloin of people singing and folks would get up like out of their from under their cardboard and, and yeah. join me and yeah. walk through the streets and sing with me. And so it's sort of like we've been doing that. I've been doing that for years. So, you know, just to um, just to, to, to wrap the neighborhood up in that and people just would stick their heads out of tents and get up and, and join us and sing. And you see people just singing nodding who were nodding out all of a sudden just looking and starting to sing so we have a, a an actual performance we also do a lot of political stuff too so if there's we do advocacy you know for, for, for homeless folks and um making sure that they have access we make sure that sky watchers have access to like medical care and you know all that kind of stuff so it's been rough this last year for them yeah. but but sky watchers is, has still been going on so so maybe, maybe Grace and I can come over and when you're rehearsing that. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you know where 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 it is and um, yeah, because it's I mean it is smack dab in the center of the of the TL. Yeah. You know, so it's very very intense there, and uh, it's it's another world. It is, and you know, I'm I, well, out there. I have all these people pounding, and it's such a trip. The whole. You know, because I'm I'm doing this whole rhythm thing in this, you know, wood, wooden dowels on wood, and it just vibrates the entire neighborhood. And folks are, you know, they're you can see people just moving, you know, they're sitting on the sidewalk, but they're like moving and they're all this that what happens is that it connects the rhythm and the intention connects everything together. Yeah. And it's a bunch of like like a, a bunch of like little Muslim kids who play in the park. And every now and then I'll be pounding and they'll look at me like this. And I say, I want to pound? And they're like, no. And then pretty soon I'll, I get my grownups to get off of their platforms and I have all these little Muslim kids pounding and dancing and, and singing. And that to me is heaven. That to me is heaven. That's beautiful. That's sky watchers, baby. That's sky watchers. <laughs> well, well, maybe we can figure out a a sky an 11 11 with the sky watchers yeah yeah they they yeah we meet in the afternoons but maybe we could just do a thing and just uh because they're they're beautiful do you know Anne neeson soul abd dance no oh uh, yeah she's the person that 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 started that um her company's been around for 25 30 years in san francisco I've been I've been I've been working with her company for a long, long time. You know, I do a lot of live singing for different dance companies here in the area. Hmm. I've seen you do that. Yeah. With a different company in Oakland. Mm -hmm. With um, Priscilla Priscilla Regalado. Roger, was it Roger Dillahunty and Priscilla? No, I've done stuff with uh, Destiny. Um, yes, Destiny. Um, Oh, uh, Dance Brigade. That's what it was, the Dance Brigade. Yes, the Dance Brigade, yeah. That's what, that's what it was, yeah. She and um, fabulous. We're talking oh, about how fabulous you are on, on Facebook right now. Oh, that's sweet. Incredible, fabulous. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Melody. Yes. But listen, I've just been really, really very fortunate. I mean, you know, I get to, I get to be in the presence of extraordinary human beings. That constantly yeah. inspire yeah. me, constantly amaze me, and and just move me. So I'm a lucky person. Yeah. 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 That's why we're all here. This is a yep. good. This is what we. What I feel like. Eleven Eleven is a collective of 
representation of everybody in the world you know people that have like people tell me all the time i'll say like yeah you should stop by my show sometime they're like i watch it i see it i just don't you know like i, I could tell you people that you and i know that watch it but i don't even know that they watch it uh -huh, yeah they just yeah. go yeah I, I checked you out the other night when you were singing and you were doing and your friend mm -hmm. was singing, and i'm like you were there mm -hmm. but so so it's touched i'm just trying to i need to um restream it so that because the content I think is so strong mm -hmm. the conversations are so powerful that it deserves a wider audience mm -hmm. and so that's what yeah. that's why I always say share the show tell your friends about it because because mm -hmm. because important stuff happens on the show and it's not I'm yeah. not gonna stop yeah yeah we'll just be broadcasting and doing some live stuff yeah, you know, and I'm I, I'm I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to take with me, but I think I really need to take everything. I think I need to take my laptop and my iPad and everything <laughs> mm -hmm. and be like, mm -hmm. you know, walking through the airport with all my all your stuff. stuff. My yeah. stuff. And then the the swag's going to come. So and they <laughs> will come with also. We might have to take with. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is like the the balloon that just won't. It just it just does not lose any air or anything. No. It's Mar it's April 17th. I got this balloon on March 23rd. Yeah. I know. I know. If I didn't know better, I I would have thought Chuck blew it up. <laughs> and I just let go of not all of the flowers, but all of the flowers up except for the protea. Yeah. I, everything left today. Okay, that's they good. Last. That that lasted a long time. I, I I take the wad. I do the and cut them down and do all that. Yeah, sure. yeah, yes. yeah. They left. I have been surrounding see. myself with daffodils. I just need. Oh, oh I know. Aren't they great right, right now? Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. everywhere right now. They're. Yeah. I know. I walked through a, a a meadow of daffodils today. They're just a meadow crazy. of them, huh? Oh, they're, oh, they're awesome. everywhere right now. Yeah. And I have tulips in my yard and. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the I'll take a couple photos. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. Enjoy them while they last. That's because mm -hmm. they they don't last a long time, you know. Mm -hmm. But they're so beautiful. I just they need are. that pop of color, you know. Yeah, they make you smile when you see them. Yep. They're smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I'm getting the eye. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's. I'm glad I could pop on and be. Oh, I'm so here. thrilled. This is like, this is, and then I always think, I wonder who's going to be on display and share. And then this happens every, every week. Yeah. It's just like, and then I get these. Yeah. 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 Like, and then I get to see well, William's face as well. I, I think you had face. the best uh, display and share. <laughs> yeah. Well, but the sour ops, I got the sour ops on. Yeah. Oh. Sour ops, people. Your roommate, my roommate. Yeah, this is roomie. <laughs> And then Lillian looks at it. She's like, "When is this? When is this? Is it ever going to go away? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, when are we going to get back to normal?" <laughs> I think Lillian probably knows that there's no such thing. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's awfully nice to, it to meet you formally, Patty. And uh, same here. Well. Same here. Thank I you. love listening Thanks. to you. Yeah, it's great. Well, this is Bye, not... William. Have a good night, William. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Take care of yourself, William, and uh, uh, you too as well, Patty. And uh, Jenna, love you, sis. I love you, sis. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Melanie. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Good night, Jenna. <laughs> good night, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. So cool, right? And William, thank you again and again and again and again and again. For okay. you. Really. I have a question to ask. Um, I'm, I'm a little puzzled. You have these people from Pawpaw, and half the time they're talking about California, and half the time Pawpaw. I don't understand what's going on there, who they are. Who are we I'm a little confused. Which person? These are two people 
Well, I think it was last night. They were from coming from Park, not Park. Well, I'm sorry, Three Oaks, Three Oaks. Oh, Johnny and Zeno. Yeah, I mean, are they living in California or Michigan? Zeno, I don't understand. Zeno lives in California. He does. Okay. Johnny lives in Three Oaks. Okay. But Zeno visits Three Oaks quite often. Okay. And Johnny visits California quite often. Okay. And I met Johnny. Johnny's a photographer, a fine right. art photographer. And right. I met him in Three Oaks at the, at, um, wow. I met him at a gig in, in Three Oaks. Yeah. And then Zeno, I met because I performed at his father, Buzzy Lindhart's birthday. Okay. And Z and Johnny was at the birthday party. And right. That's when I right. figured out that they knew each other. Okay. Yeah. So they were I used, in California. I used left. to visit. I used to visit uh, my uncle in uh, Three Oaks when I was a child. I oh, no longer God. remember where it was. It was in the country somewhere. I love it in Three Oaks. I think Three yeah. Oaks is a super cool town. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, thanks but, for clearing that up. But Carl, Carl lives near, or he live. He has pawpaws. The fruit, papa fruit? Yes. The tree. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. And his property. And then I was in Climax on whatever day that was, Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought about calling you and I thought, no, let me, I was so hyper focused on doing that gig that I just needed to do that. Sure. I understand. And then I and drove. You, and you accomplished so much that day. Just amazing, amazing. Like I said, it was just to document some of the music that we performed tonight is what we recorded. Yeah, right, right. So, yeah. Yeah, so okay. that's Tino and Johnny. Yeah. So I'm going to put up the, uh, the two. This show is part two, and uh, your performance earlier is part one. Okay. So they'll both be up tonight. All right, wow. In a few minutes, actually. <laughs> Thank Good. you. You're welcome. And maybe, um, well, when we get the other commercials together, then those can go on there as well. Sure, sure. Oh, Troy is yeah. from Three Oaks. Troy, the um, drummer from from um, Carl's band, is from Three Oaks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just learning that now. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Rob. Good night, okay. everyone. Good, night. Good morning. So tomorrow morning, um, Jeff Metzger will be here and he will be in Idlewild. He's on vacation. He and Lisa are on vacation. Oh, bye. Bye, Bill. Just They just poof, disappear. Long day. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm still. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you very much. I need to jump outside with the pearl and go down and check in on Grace. And oh, and now I'm getting a text about the chocolate. Yeah, brother. Thank you, Primo. All right. You guys have a great morning. And I'll see you when I see you tomorrow morning, perhaps, with Jeff and Layla. And then tomorrow night, one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert. Sunday morning, we'll smooth into Sunday. Sunday night, Musician Square Table. Never know who's going to show up. Monday morning, we meander. Monday night, meditation. Tuesday morning, kind of chill, maybe make a smoothie. Tuesday, I did, I did a great smoothie today with strawberries and basil and a little bit of balsamic and some orange and some pepper. We really didn't get any pawpaws this year. Weather. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, right? Bill, he just does so much. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And good night, Melanie and Rob and Carol and Bill and Karen and Cherry's here and Julie Luce and Mama Grace, so cool. Patty, thank you, Patty.
Thank you, William. All the bills. Bill, there's at least three bills here. Rob, Morocco. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Huge hug. So fun. And that, I like that the, um, the not Raiders of the Lost Ark, but you know, what you shared, William, that was really cool. And Patty, the vacuum. Really cool. I, I like, I always check out vacuums. It's, it's a curiosity that I have. I have a, yeah, and Julie, clean up. I know, come clean up. There's stuff everywhere. There's boxes and chocolate wrappers and ribbons. And... Thank you, Julie Luce. You are. Totally. I'm beyond grateful for each and every one of you. And I hope that we just, when we do get to hang, we will hang. Oh, can you believe that's going to happen? Oh, who, who would have ever thought that, well, I mean, that that would happen, but that this happens and it's happening. And it's, <sighs> hi, Ellen. Yeah. Ellen, you've been here from the beginning. Thank you very much. The young Indiana Jones. Yeah, Ellen, Ellen was like one of the first people watching the show. William, can you post a photo of your display and share on my page, please? On, on my personal page? And Patty, your knee? I'm just kidding. Don't really do that. Now, sometimes people go, yeah, I had surgery today on my you know, and I'm like, I don't want to see that on your knee. I don't want to see. No, I mean, I'll come and help you. I'll bring you food and help you and walk with you and stuff. But not on me. Karen, you have a beautiful weekend. And there's my groovy apron. I love my new apron from Nancy. All right. My candles. Ooh. Goji Taraco Orange. Oh, Taraco Morocco. Taraco Morocco. Taraco and Carol Morocco. Ooh, ooh, Taraco, Taraco. Taraco, Taraco. Taraco and Carol Morocco. Ooh, ooh. It's a start. Careful thoughts. Carol like words. No, let's see. Cautious words and Carol Morocco heart. See you in a second, Mama Grace. Love heart. Really hard. <laughs> 